Hey guys, Kevin here. In this video, we'll be looking at capturing information from our URL paths and then passing that information into the controller so we can use it to change how we work within that controller, whether it's querying a model or displaying different information inside of a view. So let's take a look at a simple example. Here I have a posts route that locates a post of an ID of one. I don't have any logic behind this, but that's kind of where we're gonna try to go here. And then we pass that, when that route gets matched, we go to this posts method on the custom controller. And it says this is post one, and then we pass that information to our view. So if I load this page up, and then go to posts ID one, we'll see that it says this is post one, and the title says posts one. However, we don't really want this number one to be static. We want that to be variable. So what we really need is an ID variable. And then we want to be able to pass that ID variable into the title. And then how will we get this ID? Well, with Type Rocket, you can define um, capture groups within your route path. Essentially, that's what the match does here. So I just need a reg regular expression matching group, and it's called a capture group. And essentially, you just need opening and closing parentheses and then your regular expression inside. Um, typically, like a dot star will work just fine, and that will capture essentially anything. So we'll save that. And then once we have this capture group, we need to tell the system what to do with that first capture group. So that's a capture group of index zero. So then I'll just create an array inside this match, and then I'll an index zero of this array. I'll essentially pass a string, and this will be the name of the variable that I want. So I want to call this ID. So I'll save that, then go back here. And then inside the controller, I'll just look for ID and it will automatically load that in from the route. And this works as long as you don't have this basically um, type printed. So if I did WP post, um, that's not gonna work how you want it to. So just make sure that you don't type hint these and just keep it to a simple um, variable name, okay? So I have this ID, it's now being passed around. I'm gonna save that, go back here, refresh the page. I have one, that's good, two, now it passes two. And then I need to test this a little bit better. So I'm gonna extend the URL and we'll see that my capture group kind of captures more than I want it to. So I need to go back here. That's not going to work um, like I want it to, however, I could use slash D plus, and essentially this is gonna capture any sequence of digits. So I can save that and then refresh the page. And then it won't locate the page because that route doesn't match. But if I go to slash two, for example, I do get two, I get four, and everything works great. And the same logic is true for uh, our anonymous functions as well. So I pass in ID, and then we append the ID here, save that. Go to this URL. We'll see that it says my type rocket, and apparently I'm doing something wrong here. Oh, I did not add the array, so I'm not telling it how to save that information. Refresh the page, and now it says four. So there you have it. That's how you create variable paths within Type Rocket and pass information from the URL into your controller or any other method that you're using to essentially send back output. 